hey 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 welcome if you are new here or welcome back if you have been here before i am freya this is budgie budgets where we are on a mission to create financial security for our family um, and we are trying to do that by using the zero based budgeting system and cash envelopes in all of my lovely binders you can see here and today is Sunday and on Sundays we do a weekly check-in, our weekly cash unstuffing and our budget for the coming week. Um, so before we start today, I apologize for my little, <laughs> my little kid's bandaid I've got going on. I caught myself on the um, washing basket right on my knuckle earlier this week um, and took all the skin off so it looks terrible. Um, so my little lion is hiding my gross um cut on my hand um so we will start today with unstuffing it has been um it's been busy it's been the first week of holidays um i have worked for a few days we took the kids out yesterday to the uh, national gallery of victoria which was super cool um it's also free to get in which is awesome however parking cost us a bomb um which is, yeah, a bit annoying. We could have taken public transport in, but honestly, by the time we pay for tickets for all five of us, it costs about the same anyway. Um, so, yeah, so we've done that. Um, I've also booked tickets for um, the movies next week, and we've got some other exciting stuff coming up that I will talk about a little bit later. Uh, but first of all, we are unstuffing here. Uh, there's only 15 here. I'm going to take the 15 out of here and I'm going to take 15 out of beauty as well. And I'm stealing 15 from my own spending this week. So I went and got a little haircut yesterday. Um, just uh, like she took like an inch and a half off just to cut it back into a bit more of a bob. It was getting a little bit long and usually it is something I would do myself, but it just wasn't vibing it this week so uh the next thing we are um no it's not in there anymore i'm still adjusting to the new <laughs> new setup the next thing we are unstuffing is gifts as i mentioned in my last video my little one is invited to another birthday party um so we had to go out and buy another present uh whoops both of those need to come out so we're unstuffing 20 dollars from gifts and that is empty again which is sad um what else i think that's all for this binder then in the school binder we are unstuffing ten dollars from school because i paid for my daughter's she's got a little incursion coming up um so that now oh the other ones i emptied but school now has 50 65 left in there um yeah she's got a little incursion at school uh, that I had to pay for and then what else in here school holidays that hundred dollars is coming out and that paid for our um, tickets to the movies and the rest of it we'll use for like treats I'll go to the supermarket and get some stuff and um, maybe some popcorn <clears throat> and then family fun that thirty dollars coming out of there that paid for our parking yesterday at the art gallery um yeah highly recommend if you're in victoria and you haven't been um it's worth a look like it was a, yeah it was a really nice it was a really good few hours we definitely could have spent even longer there if we wanted to but our youngest was getting a bit over it by then um but yeah really there's some there's some really really nice things in there definitely worth looking at so today we have unstuffed 100 that's already in the bank and then 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 so 190 coming out to pay back what we've spent for the week i'm gonna pop this over here so it's out the way okay and then next we will do our check-in for the week i think we have done better this week guys i really really do so whoops my little ribbon's getting a bit out of control let me just bring you in a smidgen. Okay, so I've already put in our starting. So we started in the negative with groceries and takeout. We had $3 in petrol and nothing in chemist. And we added in 800 last week for groceries. We spent 355 
and so we have 223 left which I am really happy with uh, I feel like that's the best like the best I've done so far I am going to top that up a little bit today just because we have some things on over the coming week and I know that you know we might be away from home so there's probably some convenience snacks and things that I want to buy to take with us so we don't end up spending a fortune out at like cafes and things like that uh, we had negative 125 in takeaway. We put in 125. We didn't spend anything. Um, so that is zero for petrol. We put in 95. Um, we only spent 81. So we've got $17 left sitting there and I'll just roll that over. Um, in chemist, we added 105 and I knew I was going to spend a fair bit but I spent even more than I thought I was going to so we need $26 to bring that back to square so I might just put these totals in here to start next week so we know where we're at okay and then uh why don't we do round of challenge actually yeah we might do that given that this is like weekly check-in I'll just pop this over here for a second and we'll do we need to do two things First of all, I completely forgot to fill in our growing to be debt free tracker when we did our debt update last time. So we need to color in four more petals with each petal being $100. We're so close to the fifth petal. It's like we're like $9 short from doing a fifth petal, but that's fine. We'll be patient. I think I'm gonna make these all different colors because why not? So that was one, oops, two, Three and four. Nice. I feel like it's a good one to keep on top of. I just forget about it because it's hidden away in the back of this binder. I might have to move it somewhere else. And then our roundup tracker is in the back of this one. And we had a really good week. So we uh, we saved 626 in here this week. Um, oh, I hope you guys can still see that now that I've zoomed you in. I think it's fine. All right, I will speed this up because uh, it's going to be quite a few. It's going to be quite a few circles, so let's do this. Okay, I completely messed that up. So bear with me while I work this out again. Okay, my goodness, that was a bit of a disaster. I'm not, I don't, I'm not loving this calculator. The, um, the buttons aren't sensitive enough. You have to push them really, really hard and I'm not used to that. So I think, I think it might have to go and live somewhere else. I think one of my kids can have it. <laughs> okay, so that's those two done. And now let's get to our budget for the week. And it's a really exciting budget this week, you guys, because we got, um, we got the first of our extra payments from Centrelink. We will have to do, once I get around to doing my tax return, it will do a balancing um, and that will hopefully lead to another payment. I'm not expecting it to be a big payment. It should be a small payment, if any at all. Hopefully I don't owe them any money. Um, yeah, so, uh, but this is the big one. So our income after rent this fortnight is, or this week rather, uh, 3,473, which is so exciting. <laughs> like, yay, this is supposed to be our small week too. So, um, yeah, it's good. So of that, uh, 264 is going to our health insurance. Um, and then, oh, why did I put them over here and not in, that should have been in variables. Uh, that's okay let's move them so that's all for bills this week and that's actually for next month um, I will just have to change my um, calculations oh my goodness this calculator so that leaves us with 3,209 and then over here we are going to top up groceries with 100 we're giving takeaway 70. <clears throat> Chemist is getting 26 to 
cover that overspending. I, we shouldn't need anything in the coming weeks now. So um, yeah, hopefully that's all good. Spending for hubby and I is getting 40, so we'll have 20 each, but I've already spent 15 of that on my haircut. Uh, clothing, I did order some stuff in the um, end of financial year sales for my daughter and I, so um, that was 263. And then we really want to take the kids to the Harry Potter experience that's happening in Victoria, so I'm putting aside 350 for that. I think tickets plus parking will be about $300 ish. And then an extra $50 just for like spending or food or um, yeah, whatever else we might need. Um, so we'll be doing that hopefully this week, uh, which will be really, really exciting. So that uh, adds up to. Oh my goodness, this calculator is actually a nightmare. I was so excited about it too. Uh, 849, so then we should have left 2,360. And that is all going in cash, you guys. So our cash envelopes will be getting $1,860. Our mini Mondays will be getting $80. It's going to be a big one. Make sure you tune in tomorrow and see what happens. Hopefully we'll finish off some challenges, um, putting $80 in there. That's the hope. We'll see how we go though. Um, and then savings challenges is getting 420. Now I know, uh, and that's 2,360, which leaves us with nothing. I know that this 420 could easily go straight on to our nab card um, and that is one way to do it. I, however, would like all of the dopamine from putting it through savings challenges first and then rolling those savings challenges over to pay the debt. So that's what we're going to do. Um, it's just more fun. It um, hopefully will make for a great video because we'll do that alone as its own video after my cash stuffing this week. Um, and then after all of this, we will have to do a massive cash condensing, I imagine. Um, yeah, and I, look, I am hopeful that there will be other extra money coming in in July that we can use to make a payment towards, um, towards our debt, like that family tax benefit settling. Hopefully, hubby's up for a tax return, um, like a tax refund. Uh, but look, we will see. It's not it's not looking very positive moving forwards in terms of what our income is going to look like, even though um, even though it will have gone up because of the July tax cuts, we're actually looking like we're going to be about four hundred dollars a month worse off, um, which is <laughs> really unfortunate. Uh, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Um, that is because because of external things from this household um so yeah we'll see how it plays out it's always a bit of a rough time in june while i wait to see how everything settles once tax returns are done and things like that but um for those of you who don't know a tax return usually triggers a review in child support payment um as it stands currently it will be dropping by 400 dollars a month which is a pretty massive hit to our budget and really really sucks so part of that will be offset by the tax cuts at least um but still, it does mean we're going to have to uh, work a little bit harder to save money in other areas um, and or I will be finding myself a little job uh, somehow that's, uh, you know, outside of budget budget that can produce a little bit more consistent income possibly. Unless, of course, budget budgets continues to take off as it is because I have been really very busy. Um, so we'll just we'll just wait and see. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, you guys. Anyway, that is all for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really genuinely appreciate you spending your time with me here. Um, yeah, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm thinking um, when we hit 500 subscribers, I will put up a little like range of freebies um, down below to say thank you. Uh, and then... I might do that instead of a giveaway at 500 and then do a big giveaway at like 750 um, if we get there. Uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think. Would you rather a giveaway at 500 subscribers or would you rather me add to the, the freebies folder? 
um, let me know what you think. That'd be awesome. Okay, guys, I hope you are all having a beautiful weekend. I hope you have a beautiful week going forwards. Please join me tomorrow for Monday minis because hopefully it will be a really, really good one. Um, there'll be a few videos coming up this week. I've got happy mail to show off tomorrow as well. Um, and then Wednesday will be our big ginormous cash stuffing, which will be really, really exciting. Um, yeah. See you then. Bye-bye.